I'm Phil Plate. I'm an astronomer from Boulder, Colorado, and I write the Bat Astronomy blog for Discover Magazine, and I'm at Space Fest 4 in Tucson, Arizona. I'm going to be talking about uh, the Mayan 2012 doomsday garbage, basically. Uh, this idea that the world's going to come to an end on December 21st, 2012, and it's complete crap. I'll use that word. Uh, uh, I could be more colorful. Ludicrous. Yeah, uh, I could be a lot more colorful than that. Um, there's not a single claim about this that's right. The, the astronomy of it, the physics of it, even the archaeology of it. These guys are misinterpreting the Mayan culture, they're misinterpreting the Mayan calendar, and it's just, it's just, a, it's complete made up nonsense. Uh, but it, there is a lot of astronomy in it, so I, I like to talk about that and show people I have, it's wrong. I have often wondered why people think of, of the Mayan calendar, since it's a circle, ends. How does a circle ever end? Well, yeah, I mean, these are all cycles, right? So you've got days. When you look at our calendar, there's days and there's years. Those are the sort of basic units. And we've made up other ones in between, weeks and months, and the bigger ones like decades and centuries. And the Mayans did the same thing, and their, their units are different. They had a day, and they had something that was like a year, but they also had things that were like months, you know, like 20 days, and all these different units. And they just cycle just like ours does. At the end of the day, you go to the next day. At the end of the week, you go to the next week. And so what do you do on December 31st uh, at the end of the year? You know, you take your calendar down and you hang, hang up a new one. You don't, you know, destroy the planet. So this whole thing is, is silly, uh, and that's, that's what I'm going to be talking about. Awesome. Um, have you heard of the Symphony of Science? Oh, of course, sure. Yeah, what do you, what do you feel about that and them using your footage and auto-tuning it? That's fantastic. Yeah. Um, when, I remember when the first one came out, and it was with Carl Sagan, uh, and I thought, this is really cool. I mean, I, auto tuning has been around for a while, but it's usually kind of irritating. <laughs> but this was done really well, and music was very pleasing, very soothing. And it was, it was edited in such a way, and I remember watching it thinking, you know, I bet Carl Sagan would have liked this. Because it, it's bringing the science, it's bringing what he did to more people. Right. And that's what, that's what a lot of us are about, right? It's what we want to do. So uh, to see these being done with Carolyn Porco and Neil Tyson and, and, and all these other folks, it's just fantastic. And they're hugely popular. So, right. you know, it, it, making science popular, awesome. Speaking of making science popular, have you heard of the Build the Enterprise project? Yes, and, yeah. And uh, if so, how do you feel about that and where it's going? I had more email about that, and I thought, it's, it's fun, I mean, if you want to think about it. Uh, is it realistic? No. <laughs> I mean, you know, even, even on the website, the guy says, yeah, this will cost a trillion dollars. A trillion dollars. It's like, right, we spend five times as much money on tobacco as we do on NASA in the United States every year. And, and you're going to ask for, what, 50 times that amount of money to do this. Really? And, and so, yeah, I, I think it's... Great uh, idea, not plausible. Yeah, and, and, you know, even in the engineering, it's like, you're talking about building a giant centrifuge that's, I don't remember how big it was, but the size of the secondary hull, the, the saucer section of the Enterprise. And it's like, we've never built anything even remotely that big in space, let alone something that's going to have to spin inside a closed structure. Uh, so, you know... And it's I, .6 miles long. Yeah, yeah, you know, so... <laughs> Come on, it's, it's a fun idea. If it gets people thinking about stuff, uh, great. But to promote it as an actual thing that can actually be done, I thought was misleading. I'm Phil Plate. I'm an astronomer from Boulder, Colorado, and I write the Bat Astronomy blog for Discover Magazine. And I'm at Space Fest 4 in Tucson, Arizona.